Hello, welcome back. Today in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a human detection application for Android. Because some of you have the problem compiling, running the Java Edge in your computer. So if you face that kind of problem, just add the Java Home into the environment path doing like this go to the property go to the property of computer select the advanced and environment path here add it add into the path this one add a new variable and you need to find the Java home in the program in the program file Java and GDK and bin you see here the Java H dot XML so you need to copy this path and add it to the environment path so I already have it in here I will not add it again so this project human detection for Android I will continue my previous my previous project uh, about the phase detection so for the phase detection we already have the native static function for phase detection and okay let's check again the phase detection application if it can work just port it to the android and i will i will open the mirror op application so you can see the the screen of the android face detection okay let's see Okay, it's worked perfectly. So we are ready for the next step. Doing application for human detection. The stop. So in here, because we already have the the H file and CPP file. So in this tutorial. We do not need to use the Java H command to automatically generate it again. So just add in the native class public native static boy and human detection. Human detection. And transfer also the address. Of the frame and then go to the H file which we created before so you see here is a phase detection J knife function so we just copy and paste make a, another version for the for the human human yeah so human detection just copy in here and paste for the safe operation paste in here and just copy this JNI function and paste to the CPP file and 
we are creating the body for that function just copy the address name of address in here to the function we need and here we also need to make to get the frame mrgba from its address map attr okay and we will define a function for human detection call that is a detect human detect human and we also transfer their m or gpa and go back to the h file in here we also need to define the property uh, the prototype of the of that function detect human detect human mat frame okay and we will write the body for that function right after the phase detection okay because I'm very lazy so I will copy this name of the function and also for the uh, save operation so in here we will write a human detection uh, procedure so just copy this part copy this part and paste to here here we will change this is a human not face human and and we need to copy the human the full body uh, XML pre-chain cascade so you can go to the OpenCV in here the OpenCV version for computer for for the C++ you will find the data and the full body here just copy it and paste to the data folder in the Samsung in the S5 like we did before so I already paste it in here not paste it again so we need to copy the name of that XML file okay paste in here and also we need to make an instant of the cascade cascade classifier to detect human so here we change the human cascade and we need to load try to load the xml file so doing copy and paste like this be careful to change all the name of the variable to corresponding name so otherwise you will have the error when you try to compile human and human in here human okay <clears throat> and we copy this part to our detect human function here is the setup human we detect it and do the histogram equalization convert to the grayscale and do the histogram equalization and then we detect human in there human 
also put the human in here humans and then we'll draw a bounding box for the human for the detected human for the detected human so for int e equal to zero is smaller than human size and e plus plus just draw a rectangle rectangle and frame draw it on the frame and then specify the top left point for the rectangle so that is a point humans i dot x and human i dot y and copy that point and specify the second point that is the bottom right of the rectangle so you have human human i and plus width and human y plus human i dot height and specify the color let's say green color 0 255 0 okay so we are done with the human detection so just build the function the project again to see if we have any problem in the CPP file no no problem so let's switch again to the main activity dot Java and instead of call the face detection we will call native class human detection so you see human detection in here mrgpa and get get the native object address okay just build and see see if it can detect the human okay yeah this can detect the human not very perfectly but in general it can detect so okay that is Thank you for watching. If you don't subscribe, please consider subscribing it to get the new weekly video. Thank you.